Go ahead, please. Athlete, pioneer, war hero. The life of Roland Garros, the man after whom the French Open venue is named, reads like a storybook. Born in 1888 on the Indian Ocean island of Reunion, Garros was educated in Paris and after graduating from the HEC Business School, started a car dealership. But in 1909, a visit to an aviation festival in Reims, which celebrated the relatively new phenomenon of motorised flight, would change the course of his life. It began a love affair with the air, but would result in his untimely death. Inspired by the festival, Garros became a pilot within months. He started with monoplanes and entered both the 1911 Paris to Madrid air race and the Circuit of Europe, which spanned from Paris to London and back. Garros twice set the altitude record, first clocking 12,960 feet before later soaring to 18,410 feet. In 1913, he became the first man to fly across the Mediterranean. By the summer of 1914, though, war was looming, and for the first time in a major conflict, aviation would play a role, with Garros as a key pioneer. In the initial stages of World War I, planes were used largely for reconnaissance. Mid-air rivals would exchange fire using grenades or handheld pistols, but successful hits were rare. Himself a reconnaissance pilot, Garros set about solving the issue. Building on earlier work by the French innovator Raymond Saulnier, Garros developed the first machine gun mechanism that fired reliably through the propeller blades. It proved very effective. On April 1st, 1915, Garros became the first pilot to shoot down an enemy plane using this method. He had two more successes that month before his plane was struck by anti-aircraft ground fire over Belgium. He came down behind enemy lines and could not destroy his plane before it, and the mechanism he had helped design fell into German hands. Garros spent almost three years as a prisoner of war, but made a daring escape in February 1918 dressed as a German officer. He re-enlisted immediately, despite a decline in his health and eyesight, but sadly he was shot down and killed over the Ardennes in October 1918, just a month before the war ended and the day before his 30th birthday. Nowadays, Roland Garros is more associated with the annual fortnight that captivates French tennis fans. But how did a Grand Slam come to be named after a wartime aviator? Garros was a keen sportsman, playing tennis as well as football and rugby, and becoming a good cyclist after a bout of childhood pneumonia. But it was his spell at the HEC Business School that paved the way for the honour. His classmates included France rugby international Emile Lessier, and the pair graduated together in 1908. Lessier later went on to become president of the Stade Francais Sports Club. When France won the Davis Cup in 1927, a new stadium was built to play host to their title defence, and Lessier requested it be named after his old friend Garros. The French Open largely honours the country's tennis legends. The show courts are named after the tournament's founder, Philippe Chautrier, and two of its early heroes, Suzanne Longlin and Simone Mathieu, who also give their names to the women's singles and doubles trophies. The men's singles trophy is named after the four musketeers from that 1927 Davis Cup win, Jacques Brognon, Jean Barotra, Henri Cochet and René Lacoste, with the men's doubles crown named after Brognon. But aptly for an aviation hero, Garros sits high above those former champions, his name living on at one of his country's major sporting venues.